And my love, beautiful souls, as mystical as a little lemon, I'm back with you, and dark into light. This is the time this reads when you guys have a true clarity confirmation message you're looking for. Please take what resonates and leave it as an asset for someone else, especially not for dream. Thank you to everyone liking, sharing, subscribing channel. Thank you so much, guys. I love you. I would not be where I'm at. It's not for you guys and for the most high. So again, thank you so much. If you're new, hit the like button, share, subscribe, hit the bell button, be notified. Okay, you guys, we're going to jump into this. Um, I got my new tarot deck, you guys. It is my new um villains tarot deck, Disney. Okay, you know, as you guys know I talk about Disney and like characters a lot and stuff like that. So I thought this would be great. And significantly, um, somebody's I pull I got this card deck today, and purple is significant to somebody right now. Okay. So it's coming out right now. Purple is significant to somebody right now. Okay. So um, I'm not familiar with this deck yet. As I said, I just got this today. This is the first time I'm using it. I shuffled out it before. So we're going to dig into this. See what you need to know what's going on for the um, holiday before Thanksgiving, the night before Thanksgiving. Okay. Holy Spirit, angels, into the hyper light and the most high. What do you want the collective to know? What do you want the collective to know? What's going on with the collective? The night before Thanksgiving. When new ca new cards, they're hard to shuffle. So that's why I'm going to have to like, do a little bit different. A little bit hard. Something's, something can be a little bit difficult or hard in somebody's life right now. There's reasons why we say things in our readings. What words come out. Okay. So what's going on? Uh, for the collective spirit. Sticking together. Okay, we have a king of coins. So that's king of um, pentacles um, inverted coming out. Okay. Looks like scar. King of coins. And I do not, like I said, I am not familiar with the cards, so I will be grabbing the book as well. Kind of seeing what's going on here. If we can find where the, where's the, hmm. Okay, so Pentacles is money. Somebody's losing something, okay? Some kind of money. Oh, right here, okay. King Lions, reverse. Um, Prince John, okay, that's the name. Prince John gets carried away with his love of gold as he t taxes the poor more and the more to increase the own personal wealth okay so this is represents um own personal wealth okay this person's getting greedy very very greedy wanting more money wanting more power wanting more um knowledge all that stuff okay just wanting more material possession okay that's what this card represents um uh, material possession okay this king king of coins okay is wanting more power wanting more money in this deck Wow, so yeah, look at this. And they're not going to get it, okay? Um, Ace of Coins. Where are you right there? Okay, indicates a lack of money. And so this person, yeah, this person has lack of money. Like, okay, lack of money. They're not going to get it. This person wants more and more and more, but they have lack of money. They don't have resources as well. Okay, they're losing something. Okay, they could have been wealthy and now they have, they no longer have wealth. There's, they thought there was an opportunity that was going to be um, good, but it wasn't. Okay. So what I'm taking here, I'm hearing like somebody got scammed. Somebody got lost their money. Okay. Somebody um, took a risky situation and they, they lost something. Okay. They lost something. Okay. What else is going on here? What's going on here? So this is about money situation coming out here for a masculine. There could have been a prince, somebody of wealth. Wow, look at these. You guys, these are upright, you guys. If you don't see these are upright and they're coming out inverted. So we are pulling a karmic energy. You saw that fly out right here. There's Scar. Okay, Scar. A lot of money. Money financial, okay, is coming out here. A lot of financials coming out. Um, Swords. King of Swords is somebody that's manipulative. Okay, that lies. Let's see what it says here. Oh, I just opened right up to it. That's perfect. Okay. Justice Scar is willing to turn against his own family to gain power and control. See, to gain power and control, the tarot card represents someone who needs to win at all costs. When this card is drawn, take it reminder to make decisions with compassion and kindness. So there's somebody that's not, um, somebody will betray a family member quick like that. Okay. If, if about money. Okay. Somebody could took something from them and they just betray them super fast. Okay. 
Yeah, the coins again. This is this is wealth. Their wealth is gone. Their money is gone. Okay. Then we have seven of cups inverted. Okay, that's illusions. Illusions. Somebody's lost their opportunity. It's also losing opportunity, okay? Losing the opportunities once they once they once had. Person had opportunities and like they had resources, they had people. Okay, then, then they no longer have that anymore. You guys, like I said, just be patient a little bit with this reading because like I said, I'm this is a new deck here. Okay, you have a lot of options in front of others of others. Um better than the last. It is easy to get swept up in ideal ideal idealistic thinking now. So make sure you're seeing things as they really are. If you find yourself presented with something that seems to to be good, to be true, be careful because it's probably is. Okay, something's to be good, to be true. These all came out inverted here, you guys. And these cards are upright. They're upright, okay? On the bottom is Queen of Swords. So you could be the Queen of Swords energy, okay? Somebody is dealing with a manipulated person. Somebody's dealing with somebody that um is is greedy about money, okay? Wants more money. It's losing it now, okay? Um, what I'm hearing is this person had money, and the reason they lost it is because they did it, they used it for selfish reasons, okay? Um, they didn't use it for good, is what I'm hearing. They didn't use it for good. Somebody could have had a mansion or like a really lavish lifestyle. I'm hearing lavish lifestyle. That lavish lifestyle is no longer like they they're no longer having it. Okay, I'm hearing somebody going out to like pay um a ten or a, what is it a ten course meal whatever it is or a nine course whatever of fancy meal and they're not able to pay for it anymore or when I'm hearing something about going out to a restaurant and they're getting ready to pay and they couldn't pay for it. Okay, because their credit card was declined. Somebody's credit card was declined. They're under judgment. Judgment. Okay. Again, I'm going to grab this because it's a new book, and I think we should all, like, it's good to read the new books, okay? Judgment. Okay, it is upright. He announced with royal fanfare, the queen of hearts serves as de deceased judge who delivers her verdicts. Off with the heads. With authority, judgment represents cause and effect, consequences, and through the queen of hearts may not be familiar with consummate forgiveness, okay? Okay, so... Usually queen of hearts, but this is a queen of hearts hearts in here, but this is like judgment, okay? Judge, okay. They messed up. They they did they took trick or risky situation risky encounters or ri risky um situ they did risky situations, okay? They did they took a lot of risk and they lost. Okay, they're losing. Um when judgment is drawn, tarot reading indicates that you're nearing the end of a long and foreign journey. While this could refer to a conclusion in a big project or life, such as building a house or obtaining a dream job, it usually refers to more personal inner journey. Take some time to reflect on these steps, okay? Somebody was supposed to take time to re um, reflect on this, okay? Okay, what, what, what they once had is no longer there, okay? Once they once had was no longer there. Okay, I'm here and don't take big... This person needs to stop taking big risks as well. Oh, spirit. So, okay, I'm hearing more, okay. So this person that's um, under judgment could be seeing a judge. They could be having a court trial or a court situation, okay? Someone's going to court for like, um, and I'm hearing embezzlement, okay? There's some kind of embezzlement. That's the word I heard is embezzlement, okay? Embezzling something and um, Ponzi scams, okay? Money laundering, okay? Whatever something happened, tax evasion, tax fraud. Because of how this came out, somebody did not... Somebody had a lot and they lost it. They lost it all because they they screwed up. Okay, they they made a mistake. They they didn't do something right. Okay. Okay. What else, there? Off with their heads. Like, see what off with their heads. Remember, being a hearts with off with their heads. So that's the thing is this person can be guilty. Okay, they're guilty, and because they're guilty, okay, that's what I'm hearing. They're guilty. That's why their money's being taken from them. Okay. They're guilty. They're guilty in the spiritual realm. Okay? So if they're not in a physical court right now, um, they've been guilty in the uh, spiritual realm. And by them being guilty, um, God is the judge. And now they're losing what they once had. Okay? They're losing what they once had because they're guilty. So sometimes it's not going to be a physical jail or a physical court situation. It could be a spiritual court. And they're going to lose everything that they had. Okay? And this is a masculine. Third is coming. This is a masculine. Okay, these cards are hard to come out. 
They're, they are new. What else, Spirit? Thank you. Eight of Swords. There's Scar again. Scar's in this again. With a new beginning, okay? So they, they were a fool. They acted like a fool, okay? Um, a fool is a new beginning. Um, even if they messed up and they lost everything, there's there's a new beginning for this person as well, okay? Somebody's going to get a new beginning. Um, they're going to have to, I'm hearing, deal with the consequences. They're going to have to learn from their mistakes, is what I'm hearing. Learn from their mistakes. If this person learns from the mistakes, they'll get a new beginning, okay? Is what I'm hearing. That's why the fool came out, okay? If they're actually listening um, to what's being told to them, they can make it right. I'm hearing repent. Something about repent. Because then remember, charity work came out earlier today, too. So, um, giving back, okay? They could have stole. So, this, this could have been embezzlement. This could have been insurance fraud. They stole. And so, they have to give back what was uh, from, taken from them. Okay? It's karma. Okay? It's a universal law. The only restricted trapped through your hopeless at the moment. Know you have the power to get yourself out of this. Look around and you will find you actually ha have more options than you think. This person can get out of the situation, okay? What I'm hearing is um, speaking truth, okay? Paying back what was stolen or paying back what they stole from people. Okay? They can make it right. This person can make it right. They can repent. They can have a new beginning, okay? Because they were acting like a fool. They can have this new beginning. Who is this fool? The reason I'm giving, like, reading this too because I want to see who's coming on these cards. Okay, Yasma, sadly built henchman, because it's a henchman, Kronk, is enthusiastic and eager to do with his best. However, he often blunders his missions by goofing off or getting distracted. Okay, the spinach, the spinach puffs burning. The fool represents someone who, like Kronk, is excited to embark on a new adventure, but who is inexperienced and naive, sometimes trips them up along the way. Okay, somebody can be inexperienced too. This is something about coming flying off the cliff too, or falling off the cliff. Okay, so you can step off the cliff. I really love these cards. These cards are really pretty, okay? They're really pretty. And then we have the four swords. Okay, this is um This person needs to be resting. Okay, really think about what they want. There's Scar again, okay? Scar's in a lot of these, you guys. Scar was a villain, a big villain. He was the enemy, okay? Scar was the enemy. So this person was the enemy. This person, or this person was treating people with disrespect as well, okay? So that's what's really coming out here is when here, like, this person, like, took from people. They were enemy, okay? They're going to have to get back what was once theirs or what, what was once yours. So if you're watching this, most likely this person stole from you, okay? And by them stealing from you, now God's taking everything from this person. Okay, they're going to come up with the money or give it back to you in some form of way. Okay, they can have a new beginning, but by them having a new beginning, they're going to have to actually um, do what's right is what I'm hearing. Okay, it's do what's right. Okay, if this person doesn't do what's right, they're not going to be able to um, move forward. Okay, they're not going to be able to move forward. Fighting a battle. Okay, preparing, resting, like I said, okay, resting, healing. So, I'm getting more of this, like, it could be your energy down here on the bottom, and this was their energy that you're dealing with, because, like, they're under judgment, but, like, this, I, I am feeling like the bottom energy is more yours, because the upright and stuff, and, like, somebody kept you in a stuck situation, and you're getting a new beginning because somebody took from you, um, this, this person that was sneaky, you know, greedy and stuff, they took from you, okay? Or, what I'm also hearing is this could have been your past, okay, this could have been past, you could have been greedy. Okay, you could have been greedy as well. You could have wanted all about the money. So this is like your energy before um, awakening, before judgment. Before your judgment, you felt stuck, but you're getting this new beginning. And you have to rest. You have to heal. You have to make things right. Okay, so that's what it could be as well. Is what I'm taking. Because how this just came out all inverted up on top. And this is all coming up right, upright right now. And these cards. Yeah. You've been through a lot of hassles, a lot of hard work, okay? You've been through a lot. You've been through a lot. More than you know. 
Okay, conflict with uh, collaborations in your life and it is causing chaos. Blaming others won't move things along. Instead, control your frustration and try to get everyone on the same page with calm communication, okay? So you dealt with something in the past, okay? This could have been you in the past. You could have been fighting with a lot of people in the past. And now, like, you have to get out of it or somebody's dealing with you. There's some kind of fight going on here. Some kind of argument. Okay, some kind of disagreement. You could have a disagreement with this 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 greedy person, okay? This greedy person could have want more money, wanted more and more and more. From you, from them, you're the high priestess, which is the middle of the scent here. Eleven. Or is that high priestess number two? Why did I say eleven? Okay, so eleven is important somehow. That priest is a secretive, intuitive figure whose powers come from deep within her own subconscious. Like Maleficent, she is sophisticated, calculating, and a magical force to be reckoned with. Okay, your magical uh, force to be reckoned with. Deeper level, okay, situation, friendship, or relationship with your family or your life. Um, what is your intuition telling you? Take inspiration from the mysteries of Maleficent and embrace solitude to reunite on the pediment. Consider it carefully, for there is more going than meets the eye. Okay, more going on meets the eye. You knowing it, feeling it. You could have known this about this person. Thank you, sir. Five of Cups. Okay, yeah, you've been depressed, sad. Okay, there's something about that you um put you down in the dumps, okay? You were kind of worried. Um, you could have been dealing with some karmic energy as well, okay? But you're a star, Aquarius energy, mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's a fearsome wall? You are, okay? You're gonna get through this. You're gonna um you're enlightened, you're 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 awoken, okay? Um stars consciously too, um enlightenment. It is also could consider a star seed. Okay, beautiful being as well, very beautiful. And then four coins is Bunny, what are your four coins? Oh my gosh, should I be the four coins is greed, power, control. Someone's trying to control your finances too, your money, your happiness. It could be this greedy person. Be this greedy person. But again, somebody's doing mirror magic too. If you want to look at that, that is mirror magic. Okay, somebody's doing mirror magic. Maleficent is from Sleeping Beauty. Okay, which is awakening. Okay, you could have woke up. I want to see the star says in here. Star, just the queen magic mirror always responds honestly to ask questions asked. The star represents clarity, hope, and the power of truth. Like I said, enlightenment, okay? Yeah, clarity, truth, okay? Okay. The star indicates you're coming out of a period of confusion and uncertainty while the chapter in your life may have been diff difficult. The star is guiding light here in to eliminate the way forward through you may not have the magic mirror at your disposal. This tar tarot card encourages you to pursue and embrace the truth. Embracing the truth, okay? Knowing the truth, okay? You're finding the truth. Okay, about this sneaky person that's coming around wanting money, greedy. Be careful so you don't get stuck on this greed either, okay? I'm hearing, be careful so you don't get stuck in this greed. Because that's what I'm hearing is I'm like, you could become a star. You could become this influencer. You could become this um, popular person or a person in the limelight and influencing. So don't become, don't become greedy, okay? Don't become greedy. Don't become somebody that um, wants more power, more money, okay? Don't become that person. Okay, because you're a high priestess, your intuition going with the flow, okay? Yeah, I'm hearing that this, this could have been your energy in the past, or this is something you're dealing with, because I am hearing like you. Somebody woke up from like you could have had a lot of money, and when everything was taken from you, is what woke you up. Okay, you lost everything as well. 
don't be about all don't be all about the money okay that's what i'm hearing all not, all money is not good money okay spirit wants to say that not all money is not good money okay all money is not good money you're accessing your gifts okay you're accessing your gifts Let's get a couple more of these and I'm going to end it. Okay, there could be a district attorney, prosecutor involved. They said there's some kind of money. Look at you, Starseed coming out. Ancestors guiding you, helping you, wanting you to know this. Ancestors see all. Rabbit hole. Going down that rabbit hole. Somebody went down the rabbit hole and they got, they got lost. They lost everything, okay? And next. So this ex could be the one that's losing everything. We could have been really, really greedy. All about the money. Somebody in a biker gang. Trying to knock you down. And they're not sober. Okay? They're not sober. Okay, let's just grab a couple more. Sun and lane. I was going to grab this deck by my mom. I'm going to grab these quick. Church is starting to act out, and I don't want her screaming in the reading. I know you guys are probably like, oh, yeah. I just wanted to get on here and try to use these new cards with you guys, okay? Some people won't even use new cards until like, they get familiar with it, but I just wanted to like, kind of pull this out here. So you guys, I'm sorry, like, I was just trying to get the feel of the cards, so. And Five of Cups came out. So somebody's crying over spilled milk, and now she's crying. So it's kind of weird how, like, somebody's crying because they're losing all their money. This masculine's losing everything, okay? They're crying over this. Hit dog with Hala. Police officer could be involved. Okay? They could be crying because they lost the lease, okay? They're the lease broken. Somebody kind of got evicted. Okay, kicked out. I am here and evicted because they lost their money. They got their house um, foreclosed. Someone got their car repoed. Strangers coming against you. F you. So we have breaking up happy homes, chaos, agent wrecker, and home wrecker. Somebody could have um, broke your home up, okay? About money. It's about money. False report, lying, fake news. <sighs> wow. Give me three more, Spirit. There's been gang moves, group effort, third party. So there's been people working with another one. Karmic lover coming against you. And then safety. Somebody's not doing safety, okay? Safety first. We have Satanists. Herbal remedies. Okay, I'm just going to angel number. You guys, the, we'll get more familiar with the um, villain cards soon. I have to read more of the book and stuff, but I, I think they're beautiful. 624. Have self belief, faith in your abilities, trust in self, good luck. Divine realm is highly interested in your life. And number 12. Strive to be the best you can be, confidence in self. I'm going to roll some dice with this person because Pisces, Aquarius, Gemini, Pisces, and number one. Okay. There was a wealthy woman or wealthy man that lost everything or just lost everything in the point of awakening. Like I said, I'm hearing different scenarios. I'm hearing this could have been you as past energy and like you were under judgment. And now you're getting a new beginning, but you have to do th make things right, okay? You have to make things right. Pay back people what you stole from, okay? It's a universal law. Or you could be this energy down here and you're dealing with this person that was stealing from you or stealing from other people, embezzling, okay? It's Ponzi scams. Taking things from people, okay? They got really greedy, all about material items, material things. You could, or you could be dating this person that's about material. 
okay, about greed, about power, about wanting more. And don't, don't be in that situation. Don't put yourself, or this could be a warning that by you becoming a star or influencer, remember where it came from. Remember who you are. Remember why you did it. You did it because you love something, okay? So you don't go into this energy spirit saying, okay, because there's something like that. You don't want to come into this energy up here where, like, you see a lot of celebrities, they want it so bad, they become celebrities, and then all of a sudden, it's like, it's about money, more power, greed, like Kim Kardashian, like, they want more and more and more and more. You don't want that. Remember who gave it to you. Remember who helped you with it. Remember that it came from God. And by it coming from God, God's giving you something to share with the world, okay, to be, um... Keep balance, okay? Give and take, okay? Be open to receive, but by receiving, you also have to um, be a service to others as well. So remember that because that could be a, a situation too here is that everything that's happening at this beginning and this happened too because this came up first, but again, take it what resonates for you, okay? But it is about somebody getting greedy, powerful, and money. And they may end up going to jail. This could be a police officer dealing with it too, okay? I love you guys. Love, peace, light, heal, and namaste.